Let us pray. Your word is a lamp that lights the way into your presence, O oh God. Give us your wisdom as we read and help us to obey all that you have offered us today and every day. Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning comes from Psalm 119, 33 through 40. Listen to the word of the Lord. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will observe it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Turn my heart to your decrees and not to selfish gain. Turn my eyes from looking at vanities. Give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise, which is for those who fear you. Turn away the disgrace that I dread, for your ordinances are good. See, I have longed for your precepts, in your righteousness give me life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We've reached the final letter out of Revelations that we'll be looking at. And so this, this morning's reading comes from Revelations 3, verses 14 through 22. I invite you to listen to the word of God. And to the angel in, of the church in Laodicea write, the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the origin of God's creation. I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I am going to spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing. You do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. Therefore, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich, and white robes to clothe you and to keep the shame of your nakedness from being seen, and salve to anoint your eyes so that you may see. I reprove and discipline those whom I love. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. Behold, I am standing at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come into you and eat with you and you with me. To the one who conquers, I will give a place with me on my throne, just as I myself conquered and sat down with my father on his throne. Let anyone who has an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches, let them hear. This is the word of our Lord. 